it is Dr. Mia, your B3 specialist and board certified gynecologist. I want to welcome you to our second Purple Couch episode. Today, we will be talking about the B3 experience here in April 2020. We'll also have the incomparable Miss V, and then we will talk a lot about vaginal health, and of course, we're gonna hit on female sexuality. So enjoy the show, it's Dr. Mia. Hello, welcome back to the Purple Couch series. I hope that you have gotten your ticket to the B3 Experience, The Climax, happening right here in Birmingham, Alabama, April 3rd and 4th, 2020. And it's gonna be at the Marriott on 280. Many of you had the pleasure of being at Ageless Intimacy, which was the foreplay. So if you thought you had a great time at the foreplay, wait till you get to the climax at the B3 Experience. Get your tickets, they're selling out, and get them while you can. It's Dr. Mia, can't wait to see you there. Welcome back to the Purple Couch episode, our second Purple Couch episode in this series. And I have with me the incomparable Miss V. And I have seen her out and about in the last 10 to 12 years. I think yes. we were both starting our businesses at the same time. Exactly. So now you're at a different point in your life. Yes, yes. And yes. I'm sure it's been a transition. It has definitely been a transition. And Dr. Mia, I just gotta say, you are a life changer. I tell people you're not a game changer, you a life changer. Thank because you. prior to meeting you, this body was a mess. It was an absolute mess and I honestly had start to learn how to live mm -hmm. with my mm -hmm. body being so out of whack. Right, because it's mean, so gradual to change mm -hmm. in hormones. Mm -hmm. It's so gradual that you just look up one day and you like I don't sleep. Mm -hmm. You know, what other symptoms were you having and what was it doing to your career and your professional oh, life? Oh gosh, first of all, I didn't sleep. And mm -hmm. you know, when you don't have sleep, you're very irritable. Mm -hmm. I was, I had a whole lot of mood swings. I was tripolar. Is that a word? Yeah. We're going to make that one up. Tripolar, I was too many people. Um, and I was just sexually just not there. Okay. Like just good, seriously, maybe once or twice every three months. Oh wow. And you're mad. I'm married, been married to my high school sweetheart now for over 10 years. Yes. 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 So excited. And really and truly, I had learned to live a life that was just God. Tired. I met you. Yeah. I, I lived a life that was so far fetch from this life now, mm -hmm. you know, so. And then even when you say that sexual part, because I know how much you love your husband, I know how yes. he's always around, yes. I know how attracted you are to him, so even with that, with the change in the hormones, your sex drive had declined that much? It had declined terribly, horribly, and it, it, we didn't know, because you know most, it's most gradual. of us don't yeah. righteously think it's a medical thing or mm -hmm. anything we can do about it. Right. So I honestly never had an OBGYN that that had ever said to me anything about that. So I didn't know, okay, I got a problem. Right. Uh, I just thought it's normal. It's supposed to be this Right, way. I'm getting old. I'm I mean, I want to have sex exactly. anymore. I but as so many children. That's right, that's right. So <laughs> as Dr. Mia teaches you, yes. you can age gracefully. Age gracefully. Your hormones can change, but we can balance them. Yes, so <laughs> tell me how you're feeling after oh, we gosh. treated you and you came here to meet Bella and you had some of the treatments here. First of all, let me tell you, you. I'm not the kind of person that sells stuff. Right. Like a lot of people just think, oh, V, you'd be the greatest salesperson. But when I got under your care, literally, I'm, I, Dr. Me, I don't know if I can say this on this, but I turned into a pure D stripper. I mean, I'm just loose and, you know, I've called yeah. you on the phone and say, Dr. Mia, am I supposed to be feeling like this? I'm like ready to go. I'm right. doing it. It has literally changed my mood. I'm more calm. It has definitely changed the way I feel within my body. Okay. You and, and your relationship, I know that it, I know you had a great relationship, yes. you know. Yes, and my husband was so patient, but mm -hmm. now he's like, oh my God, this the girl that I wanted. You know, he mm -hmm. never said, 
you know, anything against me, but he wanted more. Right, you know, and right. And love the women. You know how your husbands love you and won't say anything about what And they like physical not, intimacy. Men really need their physical intimacy. And, na and now, <laughs> who else needs physical intimacy? <laughs> me. Right, because yes. the women used to think that they didn't need physical intimacy. Exactly. We just need the emotional. And if the physical comes, that's great. Mm -hmm. But God made us all sexual beings. Yes. And sometimes it's just a little medical trick that I yes. can do, ah, balance those hormones, magical Dr. Mia, baby. magical Dr. <laughs> Mia, and then it changes the rest of your life, it, it changes did. your relationship and your professional really, career. Really. It's made me easy going, but in my marriage and in my personal life, it would not have a more sweeter, intimate time. Mm -hmm. It was very painful for me to have sex. Right. And see, that's one of those changes talk. in your oh, body. Yeah. And mm -hmm. women don't talk about it. Mm -mm. They go to the doctor. Nobody asks them Baby about it. a powder house. Right. I was just, oh, I'm, it, no, that's right. And that's normal. I mean, that's normal because when your hormones change, mm -hmm. then your vaginal tissue starts to thin and mm -hmm. it gets more dry and, you know, it becomes a problem to have intercourse. It was. Right. It was very, and, and because of the dryness, it was painful. I I just dreaded having it. Right. I wasn't not, you know, I'm mm -hmm. very attracted to him, but it wasn't that. It was just like, no, I just don't want to go through. Because it's going to be painful. To do, you know, do all of this. But, but now with the treatment. definitely restarted my sexual career, baby. Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm like, woo. That's right. And that's how we should be with our partners, <laughs> you, you, you don't know. You do that without teaching us as your patients. You know, you, you give us more than just a physical or a medical perspective, but you've all also taught me mentally how to get in that mood, like let myself go and relax. Right, right. Thank you for all of it. Well, I'm so I mean, glad. I just, I, I just don't know. Honestly, when I shared this with my girlfriends, they was like, UV, because I used to be the one because I didn't like sex to say, Girl, I ain't got time for all that. I'm, right. Now right. I'm like, oh, I'll call you back. Right, right. I'm calling you right back. <laughs> I got to go see Dr. Mia tomorrow. I'll call y'all next week. <laughs> but it has definitely been life changing. And I'm Thank happy. you. I'm glad. I'm glad. Yeah, 30 more years to me in That's my life. That's right. Our sex, our sex life is 30 more years longer. Right. As a result of being under your care. Well, Thank I'm glad you. you gave us a try. Thank you. All I'm right. glad you do what you do. Thank Keep you, Miss B. You do. Thank you, Miss B. Ageless Bell. All right. <laughs> Ageless Bells for life. And it's the incomparable Miss B. Thank you so much for joining, and we'll be right back. Welcome back to the Purple Couch series, our second episode, right here with me, yours truly, Dr. Mia. So one question and one conversation that comes up a lot with my patients is about vaginal dryness, pain with intercourse, and just vaginal health in general. So what I recommend is that women who are 30s, 40s, especially if you're on birth control or whatever age you are, if you're starting to notice that you're having more vaginal dryness, first of all, see your gynecologist because it may be something very simple that can be treated like a yeast infection or something like that. However, it may be that your vaginal tissue is just starting to age a little bit more and you don't have as many hormones, so you're noticing more discomfort and vaginal dryness during intercourse. Not only can you just use a lubricant, but we can actually fix the problem. So now I have my patients treating the tissue before it's a problem for prevention. So that means using a prescription that um, I will give you at least twice a week and sometimes every day to help maintain healthy tissue so that you can have good sensation. And for my patients who are having significant problems and those treatments don't work, we have vaginal rejuvenation here in Me Bella Wellness Center and we are very excited about it because it's going to be life changing. I purchased this machine, this particular machine, because I wanted something that can help with your female sexuality and intimacy. This machine was designed to pleasure you. It's going to improve your sensation at the G-spot. You're going to have stronger and longer orgasms, and you're also going to notice more vaginal lubrication, which over time will make for a much healthier vagina. So the vaginal rejuvenation is one option, but we also have other options. Not only does the vaginal rejuvenation help with the vaginal tissue, but it also decreases stress incontinence as well as urgency. So one treatment 
is necessary. It takes anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour, and it is a painless procedure with no downtime. For my patients who have this treatment or don't want to have this treatment, but they want some treatment, we have an apparatus that you can actually take home. It is a medical grade vibrator, and it will treat your pelvic muscles to decrease your leakage of urine with coughing and sneezing as well as decreasing urine with urgency. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. So at Me Bella, not only can you have the vaginal rejuvenation, but if you don't want that, you can purchase this device and not only will it help with your orgasms, your lubrication, and your vaginal tissue, it will also stop you from leaking urine when you're coughing and sneezing and it will help significantly with urgency. I am so excited to have the opportunity to provide this new service of vaginal rejuvenation and I'm even more excited that we have an, a take-home option that's affordable to help not only with your vaginal tissue laxity but also to help with orgasms, to improve lubrication, and to help with stress and urge incontinence, meaning leaking urine when you're coughing and sneezing or gotta go, gotta go, gotta go and you can't quite get there. So it's Dr. Mia. If you have any questions or concerns, just look on the website and I look forward to serving you. Thanks so much again for joining our Purple Couch episode two and we will be back in just a few. Thank you so much for joining me on the second episode of the Purple Couch series with Dr. Mia. We had an exciting time today. I want to thank Ms. V for joining us. We all enjoyed her. I want to make sure that you go get those B3 Experience tickets. The climax is what we're doing. So if you are excited about Ageless Intimacy, the foreplay, you definitely don't want to miss out on the B3 Experience, the climax. It will be April 3rd and 4th right here in Birmingham at the Marriott 280. And I hope you learned something about vaginal health and the importance of feeling comfortable talking to your doctor about the problems that you may be having. And more importantly, I hope you understand that just because your sexual function is starting to decline does not mean that you won't be able to enjoy intimacy the rest of your life. We have so many treatment options out there, so see a gynecologist who can take care of you so that you you can maintain your beauty balance and belief and always live well age beautifully and to learn more about your total women's wellness and your sexual health follow me on Mia Cowan MD as well as me Bella health and wellness and you can also go to my web page Mia Cowan MD or me Bella it's dr. Mia